Good afternoon Cardinal Mahoney. Thank you for agreeing to talk to me for my article. I noticed that you were wearing your customary black suit. What happened to your Roman collar? Hello, Candy. I ditched the Roman collar because I am laying low these days. I don't want people to recognize me. I don't want to get my butt kicked, or even worse. I also had a little work done by my plastic surgeon, and I touched up the gray in my hair. Do you like it? Is this concern for your safety due to the controversy surrounding the court-ordered release of documents proving that you shielded priests from prosecution as child molesters? You didn't say anything about my face job, nor my hair? Please your eminence, I asked a very serious question. Forgive me, Candy. I don't get out much these days. I spend my time blogging from my apartment in North Hollywood. I enjoy attacking the guy that replaced me. Talk about a rude and inconsiderate, not to mention short, individual. Are you speaking of Archbishop Jose Gomez? Yes, that's him. That no good Opus Dei, operative. You have no idea how much I enjoy attacking him through my blog. Are you are upset that he relieved you of all of your public duties associated with the Archdiocese? Yes I am. The Archdiocese was my playground for over 30 years. I was King Rogelio. I could do anything I wanted. Thank God I still have my blog to attack him and others. Back to the pedophilia and homosexual teen rape scandal involving priests of the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. Maybe we should go to lunch instead. I know this great place in Glendale that named a dish after me. Fettuccine Cardinal Mahoney. Lobster and base scallops simmered in a cognac cream tomato sauce. Just divine. I eat it three or four times a week. I would rather discuss why you shielded pedophile priests from the law. Why did you then fight for so many years to keep from making the incriminating files open to the public? How many millions did you spend on lawyers in an attempt to keep the files a secret? If you like we can have a nice bottle of Lambrusco with the Fettuccine Cardinal Mahoney. Afterwards maybe we can stop by my apartment and I could show you my shortwave radio rig. Don't worry, I'm a closeted gay. Please Cardinal Mahoney, I want to talk about you and your misdeeds while you were Archbishop of Los Angeles. Nothing in my own background or education equipped me to deal with this grave problem. In two years spent in graduate school earning a master's degree in social work, no textbook and no lecture ever referred to the sexual abuse of children. While there was some information dealing with child neglect, sexual abuse was never discussed. Pardon me for saying so Cardinal Mahoney but that sounds like nothing more than a rehearsed excuse. You hired dozens of lawyers to advise you. Why didn't you hire other experts to advise you if you weren't able to employ your own common sense? Your line of questioning is not helpful. Pardon me? Why did you shield the priests from prosecution? Why did you then fight for years to keep the evidence a secret? Because doing so best served me, King Rogelio. Besides I was busy for over ten years building my Rog, Mahal, Cathedral. So your motives were entirely self-serving? That I can believe. Do you think you will be prosecuted for your actions? Lord I hope not. I still have a lot of blogging to do. But everyone is against me. Even the Mexicans have turned their backs on their King Rogelio. Their former support was once so solid, it largely allowed me to go untouched for decades. You mentioned the cathedral you built. Why would you build something that was so expensive? Something that so many people find to be offensive in design? Because as King Rogelio, I could do as I wanted to. A king needs a palace. I obviously enjoy offending people. I even came close to knocking down the historic St. Vibiana's Cathedral on a weekend without the required permits just to push my agenda. That sounds dreadfully arrogant and ignorant, Cardinal Mahoney. I don't care. Remember I said that it's all about me. King Roger. Thank goodness those snap douchebags are making such asses out of themselves attacking me. Nothing more than a bunch of wannabe female priestesses. They are deflecting much of the heat with their hideous behavior. I must admit those SNAP members are a hateful and clueless group. Thank God for them. They are making such fools out of themselves. I am happy they are diverting criticism away from me and onto themselves. Even if they weren't self-serving idiots, they can't tell me what to do. I can do anything I want. 
Is that why you turned the celebration of the holy sacrifice of the Mass into such a circus within the Archdiocese? Yes. It was my way of thumbing my nose at Rome. I can do as I please. I am after all, a prince of the church, a cardinal. If things ever got too bad I could always blame that hideous Los Angeles religious education conference. You plan to go to Rome to vote for the next pope. Many feel that is very selfish and inconsiderate thing given the controversy surrounding you. Some suggest you lack the decency to quietly bow out and remain here in Los Angeles. I really don't care what other people think. It's all about me. You would think people would realize that by now. Besides, me and Billy Leveda are going to hit the all-you-can-eat pasta smorgasbord just outside the wall of St. Peter's Square. It's really yummy. Archbishop Gomez is now considering a capital fundraising drive because the Archdiocese is in the red. What happened to all the money amassed through the shrewd financial management of Monsignor Benjamin Hoax during his long tenure as Vicar General? That money is all gone now. Remember the $660 million I had to pay in hush money, I mean, settlements. You also need to keep in mind that as long as I have been Archbishop, the Archdiocese has been in the red. Together in mission as we like to say. So you ruined the financial condition of the Archdiocese as well? You even sold the Archdiocese and Chancery building on Wilshire Boulevard for $31 million. That building was a gift from the thrifty Palace Corporation. How could you do such a thing? That's nothing candy. I even looted the church's cemetery maintenance fund for over $115 million. I also tried to sell our college campus, adjacent to our seminary in Camarillo. You were brought ruin to the Archdiocese of Los Angeles during your tenure. Have you no regrets? Have you no shame at all? None whatsoever. Now how about that pasta and wine? Not if you pointed a loaded gun to my forehead. I hope you find that helpful. Good day.